For only 152 Australian dollars, I bought this small form factor HP computer. It's got a 7th gen quad core i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, discrete graphics, and a 256 gigabyte SSD. Well, the question is, can you game on such a cheap computer? Let's find out. It really feels like Christmas every time I open up some of this old tech I've bought online. And straight away we're greeted with a very adequately packed computer as well as a neatly wrapped power cable, which is a nice bonus. A few layers of bubble wrap goes a long way to protect a computer in transit. And some sellers don't go to this much effort, sadly. This is a HP ProDesk from around 2017, featuring a USB Type-C port. Not all that common on computers back then. And getting inside one of these machines is very easy. All you've got to do is push a lever at the back and slide the chop casing off. And inside, it's honestly a lot less dusty than I thought it would be. But then again, the seller had this listed as refurbished, which means some effort at the very least has gone into cleaning it up. And for such a small computer, there's honestly quite a good array of connectivity. And some expandability is also possible namely adding more RAM, another hard disk, or even a better graphics card. But your options are severely limited due to it being a single slot and it being low profile with no power connectors. So let's power up this mini PC after a word from today's sponsor. And today's video wouldn't be possible without NordPass, the safe and secure password manager. Store all of your passwords in one place. There's no need to memorize them and write them on a piece of paper that you'll probably lose. And you can save time as well. The autofill feature makes login faster, no typing required. And you can also generate secure, complex passwords with ease. Keep your passwords and information private. NordPass has many features including a data breach scanner that informs you if any of your information has potentially been leaked and what type of data has been compromised. Changing your passwords regularly is a key to success and NordPass has a password health check scanning for weak and old passwords that should be strengthened. NordPass uses XCharCHAR 20 algorithmic encryption, which is not only very secure, but incredibly fast. You can also shop and browse faster. NordPass securely stores your credit card and personal details. You can do all this across up to six different devices, all from your one account. Perfect for those of you who are constantly changing devices or working across multiple platforms. Strengthen and simplify your password life online using NordPass and get exclusive access to NordPass's best offer by heading to NordPass.com com forward slash pcivrynordpass or use my promo code pcivrynordpass at checkout and get an additional one month for free. With the HP plugged in, let's see whether it is still functional. And I did wait a few months before I got around to filming this computer, so if it turned out to be dead on arrival, I would definitely struggle to get a refund. It appears to have a fresh installation of Windows 10 and unsurprisingly, no Wi-Fi, so a wide connection will be required. And a short time later, it was up and running. And yes, Windows was even activated. This is running a one gigabyte GT730, so not exactly a gaming powerhouse. But let's play some games on it anyway, starting off with BeamNG Drive. I felt like a resolution of 720p was still clear enough, but the settings had to be as low as they'd go for it to be playable. And getting a nearly 60 frames per second average is impressive for this graphics card. If you're into older games, you will have no problem with this hardware. And as you can see, old school RuneScape runs buttery smooth. Lighter titles such as Minecraft also run very well. This is the same server I've been running for nearly two and a half years. Feel free to join if you want. An esports classic that's required by law to test is Counter-Strike GO, and I found that 1600 by 900 on low settings is a good compromise between clarity and performance. This is very much playable on this system. Now we are pushing the system, most notably the one gigabyte graphics card, very hard. Halo 2 with the updated graphics in the Master Chief Collection is just playable. At an even lower resolution, it may even sustain 60 frames per second. A game that barely runs at all was Horizon Zero Dawn. This game warns you that it requires a three gigabyte graphics card at minimum, and unsurprisingly, it only maintained a 14 frames per second average, and not playable unless you enjoy slideshows. The next game really surprised me. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds was actually playable? Yeah, you might be wondering why I didn't run it at a lower resolution. Well, it looked horrible for some reason due to scaling, but 900p with the render scale set to 90 was a decent trade-off, and most importantly, actually playable. And I really didn't think we'd actually win a round. A chicken dinner on such low-powered hardware really brings a smile to my face. And last of all, before we tear down this PC, I thought I'd try some 4K YouTube playback. It ran very well. And now it's time to strip back this computer and see exactly what it's made of, because 
Why not? This desktop originally came with this SSD, which doesn't require any screws to remove, but it did take a bit of fiddling. And manufactured in late 2017, this SATA drive has pretty decent speeds, still very much usable today. The faceplate also comes off without any screws, revealing that the front ports are actually attached directly to the motherboard. Normally, these would be on a separate little board as far as I'm aware. The drive caddy and empty optical drive bay is removed by pushing in a button on the side, which reveals empty slots for an M2 SSD as well as a Wi-Fi card, pretty neat if you wanted to put in a second storage drive. The two RAM sticks are pretty much the cheapest stuff you can buy, but at least there are two sticks meaning it's running in dual channel mode. You could easily put in two more 4GB sticks to bring this to a decent 16GB of RAM. The 1 gigabyte GT730 wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, and there's no room for any bigger cards in this system. I think the best card you could put in here is a GT1030, and pretty much every other card takes up two or one and a half slots. Plus, you wouldn't want to draw too much power from the very low wattage power supply. It's really only designed to run this machine with the components it came standard with, as there's not a lot of headroom. And I'm not sure if the seller's refurbishment went as far as new thermal paste, but I'll check and apply some new stuff regardless. Peak temperature on the CPU was 78 degrees, Celsius during a stress test, which isn't all that bad. The pace still felt pretty soft, so this could very well be new, and the i5-7500 is still a decent little quad-core chip. Even a very basic cooler such as this one provides adequate cooling, but be sure to clean off this surface as well if you're doing a new thermal paste application. And even though this is a proprietary power supply, there are plenty online. This PC is at that age where it's cost-effective for people to just scrap them for parts, and with a new application of thermal paste, this small computer can be pieced back together. These really are easy to take apart and most importantly cheap to upgrade. Well, minus the graphics card. Last of all, I gave the casing a wipe down with a healthy dose of eucalyptus oil. For such a cheap machine, the seller definitely put in some effort when it came to the refurbishment. I've definitely seen many far worse refurbished computers, and this one, even with the weak graphics card, can still sort of play games. It's small, surprisingly light, and would definitely be a good home theater computer. Deals like this come up all the time for old business tech. And if you keep an eye out, you can definitely get this stuff as cheap or even cheaper than what I paid. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.